If you've seen the other videos, you'll know that I rate the Cross Climate too highly. I think generally they're a, a very good tyre. They are a fantastic tyre in all conditions, from snow to hot weather. My biggest complaint though, with these tyres, with the Cross Climate 2, has been the ride comfort. I've said that they're borderline unacceptable, but I also said that it's worth the trade-off for the grip that you get in all conditions. I'll take a bit of ride harshness. Someone said in the comments, yes, but what is the speed rating of the tyres? Honestly, I didn't look. The comment that said it's going to be H or it's going to be V. I got around to looking and it turned out I had V speed rating on these tyres. And that is the highest speed rating of the two. I think V is what, 149 mile and up to 149 mile an hour. And he, well, I assume it's a he. This person was saying that if it's a slower, lower speed rating, there'll be a softer tire. Well, he was right. It is a hard ride and they were a V speed rating. Whether the H, the lower speed rate was going to be better, I didn't know. However, recently, I've had uh, an incident, not me personally, but another person has got access to this car, had an incident with a car which resulted in us having to get uh, two new tyres. So that was a great opportunity to put onto the car the H speed rating tyres. So that is what has happened. The, the, the tyres that needed change were on the rear. So we've rotated the tyres, we put the front on the rear and we've put the new tyres on the front. H speed rating and I can tell you the ride comfort is transformed. It is now, with the H speed rating, it's now what you would expect from any tyre. It's not especially wow comfortable like a Continental Eco Contact 6 for example, but it's also not wooden jarring like the V speed rating. It's with regards to ride comfort, it's almost a completely different tyre. You don't notice every little imperfection in the road anymore. It glides over the big stuff. The, the bigger stuff is not something that's so noticeable anymore. It's just a much nicer tyre and again, the only way I can use to describe it is it is what you would expect it to be from a normal tyre on the ride comfort front. So putting all those things together, the right comfort now, plus the all-weather ability of these tyres, I think it's pretty much a perfect tyre. With regards to tyre wear, I haven't seen anything alarming, but then again, the roads where I am are not particularly abrasive, so I'm probably not the best person to ask about tyre life. But in all the other categories, I think different temperatures, different weather, snow, wet, dry, different road surfaces and the right comfort I don't see why you would need another tyre so the key takeaways from this I suppose would be for the cross climate too maybe it's a rule for any tyre get the lower speed rated tyre that you can get away with it's pointless having a 150 mile an hour rated tyre if your car will only do 130 mile an hour and that will get you the the best ride comfort but having said that, I don't know if that is the case because this is the first time I've tried the same model of tyre on the same car with different speed ratings. So maybe it's just a Michelin Cross Climate 2 thing and maybe it's even specific to the 195 6015. So that's the video guys, hopefully it's informative. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, look after yourselves and I'll see you again next time.